Okay, this video is going to introduce the concept of variables, which we started looking at last week. Remember last week, working with the text window to read information in, and we had to store it somewhere. Now, the objectives of today's lessons are to be able to use variables in a program. Remember, a variable is something that can change, but we can give it a name, so it will store the information. And then we're going to draw different shapes using turtle graphics, similar to what we did in an earlier lesson but we're going to add in a few extra sort of features related to the text window so that we can read information in from the keyboard. Now, if we go back, remember we looked at drawing a square and we wanted to get the turtle to draw the polygon, whatever polygon we chose. So remember if we started here, we'd move forward 100, turn right or turn 90, so turtle dot turn bracket 90 and then move 100 again. If we finish it off, another turn right, move forward, another turn right, move forward. So there's the pattern, move, turn, move, turn, move, turn, move, turn, and we repeat, repeat that the number of times in the circle, sorry, in the shape. So we've got a bit of a recap when I'm drawing a square. First thing we want to do is basically change the size of the window. We can do that with graphics window dot width equals 400 and then graphics window dot height equals 400 so that makes a perfect square of 400 by 400 then we want to start at 100 100 note the little apostrophe here and the green bit that means it is a comment and we can do turtle dot x so the x position on the screen equals 100 and turtle dot y is 100 remember the top left corner starts at 0 0 so if this was this whole screen was 400 so we'd have 400 0 bottom right corner 400 400 bottom left 0 400 so we have our, all our different positions now we can make the turtle face right doing turtle at dot angle equals 90 remember straight up 0 right 90 180 is going down and to the left is 270 so what we're going to do is just have a quick little look at this code and what that bit does note we've got the code remember the first thing we need to do is a bit of a save as and make sure every activity give it a new folder name and make sure the file name is test app so we've got the program right there we're going to run it what we notice is the windows changed to 400 by 400 but I haven't actually started drawing anything hence we can't actually see the turtle so now we need to add in the code for drawing a square. Remember we have this concept called the for loop which allows us to repeat. So we can go for i equals 1 to 4, remember 4 sides, turtle.move, we're going to do 100 and turtle.turn right. Now let's add that. Now you could use the turn left and turn right, I'm just going to use the turn and allocate it 90 degrees. So once again, save, run, we've got the turtle moving around, nice and quick, 1, 2, 3, and four sides. So the next step is obviously going to be changing the angles. So now what we want to do is look at make it a bit more flexible. So that at the moment we've written all the code and it only follows one process. We need to work on getting the turtle to change what it's going to do depending on the input we give it. So we're going to tell it what sort of polygon to draw. And to do that, we're going to ask the user how many sides they want the polygon to be, and then put in a bit of a formula or a calculation to work out what angle the turtle is going to be working through, and then how long to each make each side so that the polygon all fits on the screen. Now, that's going to involve using the text window from last week. So we're going to modify the code and add in a few little messages. So text window.writeline the turtle will draw a polygon for you, it's a little message, text window dot write, how many sides do you want, note the little space at the end, and then we go number of sides, which is the variable, is equal to text window dot read number. So it runs this bit of code, reads a number from what you type in, saves it here, and then we're going to work out the angle. But let's go and add that code in. So right at the start, so now I've added that code in, the two messages, 
note member with write. We don't put an enter at the end of the line. So we've got the program running. It's popped up the text window. We're going to put five in, and it starts drawing. Now, what we will notice is that it is still only drawn the square. That is because I haven't m used the variable. We use the variable anywhere. So I've got four i so to four. So that's the number of sides. So rather than hard code in a number, I'm going to put in the variable name, number of sides. And rather than turn, we need to put in a formula to work it out. So, to work that out, what we have is the angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by the number of sides. So, we're going to make a new variable called angle. It's 360 degrees divided by number of sides. And then... We're also going to do the length as well, so let's do 360 degrees divided by number of sides. And what this angle is, is the angle that we want to turn. I could have put this calculation right in here, but I'm going to leave it out. So I'm going to say five-sided, get our pentagon, two, three, four, and the fifth. So yes, it seems to be working. Now, rather than putting the hundred in here, I'm just going to give it the, the value length. Run that again, and it should make a, let's try just a three-sided triangle, because we want to try out different variables to see, or values to see what it works out, and we can see that one has worked. And we need to check that with a few different bits of code. But we've got now got a basic program that's going to let draw our shapes. And little question here, how long each side if it's got four sides? So you put 360 degrees divided by four, gives you 98, 16. So here we go, working those out. Then you're going to continue with activity one on worksheet one. If we have a look at that. It is all to do with drawing polygons, so like what is in the example that we've gone through in this video. Your first question is writing a program that does all of these eight tasks. It uses the text window to tell the user to draw the polygon and how many sides it's going to have. Ask the user to enter in the number of sides. Calculates the angle that the turtle needs to turn through after drawing each side using this formula. 360 degrees divided, calculates the length of each side, gets the graphic window that's 400 by 400, sets the turtle to 100, 100, makes the turtle face right, uses a for loop to draw the polygon, obviously you need to save it as test app in the folder activity one, and then we have a few other bits, so the extension activity, Similar ideas, but you're going to read in more things than just the number of sides. You're going to get the color of the pen and the width of the pen. And also see if you can work out how to speed up the turtle, so you could ask them for it. It's turtle speed. Have a go with this. You might also want to try adding in a few of the other bits that we've looked at in the past. Good luck.